So yeah, hopefully when this is done I won't have to hold the filament anymore. <laughs> Looks like icing sugar. <laughs> Nathan, do you want to explain what you're printing at the moment? Yeah, so I'm printing a, uh, a wheel which will fit in here with a bearing on it yep. and the whole thing will sit on the stand up here yep. so that means that I won't have to manually take the filament off the spool anymore uh, What about the uh, thickness of the print at the moment? Uh, very thick. <laughs> I'm using a one millimeter nozzle now, um, which is probably thicker than like a really nice quality part that you would want to uh, actually sell. But it's yeah. very good for prints that we might want to do ourselves for yeah. larger machines. And it's just quick, isn't it? Yeah. Essentially, if you're wanting to do a, a pretty looking print like this one here. Um, the, the nozzle I had on before, which was 0.3 millimeter. At the top of it, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that one is really smooth. You can almost not see the layers at all. Whereas the the part that I'm printing now, it has very obvious layers, but so it's a very quick solution when you want a, a very utilitarian part. Yeah. So it's a, yeah, this is an example of a part which has roughly the same layer thickness as the one that I'm going to make. Yeah. So you can see it's, it's still very accurate, the holes are in all the right places, and it's extremely strong. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's, uh, this is a perfect part for a rep rep machine, it's just if you want a really good looking print yeah. for some other reason. For aesthetic reason. Yeah, we don't really know what aesthetics are, so, so it's fine really, but... It's nice colour though. <laughs> it's a very good colour. It's a colour of it's danger. A, yeah, you're about to say. <laughs> Are you going to print yourself like an emergency stop button? Um, I think emergency stop is uh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the emergency stop. <laughs> it, it definitely sounds a lot more... Um, yeah, it's running so much better. So what I've been doing over the last week is just to tuning the software to use the motors in the most in the most efficient way. Mm. Yeah, and I also had to mess around with the firmware a little bit to remove the limits on oh, the. Right. Uh, I mean, I don't think I'm not sure that all RepRap software has built-in limits, but the yeah. firmware on this one, which I'm using, is Teacup. Okay. Um, which has, uh, I mean, it's nice to be able to play around with all the settings, but some of the settings I found like. They were not very intuitive. Mm. Uh, it what took was quite it? a lot what of was it limiting? It was limiting the uh, the speed of all the motors. Oh right. So you actually have several like when you're dealing with it at a very basic level, you have several different limits, which yeah. is the speed of the individual motors, but also the speed that the nozzle travels while you're printing. Is that raised us? Yeah. It meant to raise up. Which bit? It looks like it was raised off the, off the bed. Oh, feck. <laughs> well, people might not realise why thing, these things are happening. Yeah. Whereas I do, I just know it was my fault. So. <laughs> At least I know what Open I Open source, to. when it's your own fault. <laughs> yeah. But I know what I can do to fix it, I just hope. The thing is, it may still work, but the problem is now the nozzle may actually dislodge it yeah. as it's moving. Which is actually what happened with one that I printed just before this one. All oh, right. Yeah. Do you think it's worth just pausing it and? No, start? no. There's no way to wait now. Like once it's come <laughs> off, the, <laughs> once it's come off the bed, it's uh, there's no way to get it to stick back on. Ah, uh, it's happened. <laughs> <laughs> Now all I've got to do is wait for it to warm up. Is it hot? Uh, not as much as it should be. So the other thing um, which we later discovered might have caused the plastic to rise up was uh, the bed wasn't clean. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, the bed needs gre degreasing, so what I've been doing is just getting a bit of meth and tissue. A tissue and just wiping it down every time. And, just and also to... just making sure that it's like, yeah. so 
Yeah, the the temperature sensor on the bed is actually broken. Already. Uh, well, when I say it's broken, it's just miscalibrated, so it reads zero. So the way that I test it is just by touching it, and if it, I burn my finger, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all very precise science going on yeah. here. What was Hemant's suggestion? Just fry an egg on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I may need to degrease it again after yeah, that. Yeah, it's a bit too, um, a bit too greasy. Yeah. So what we're printing here is the uh, the maker scanner, um, which comes with some uh, software as well, which is uh, an open source 3D scanner. Cool. So uh, yeah, and I ripped the laser out of my very old uh, jigsaw too, which will be the other component of the 3D scanner. Mm. Cool. Looking good. Mm -hmm.